Hello and welcome or welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Andrea and I have been selling on Etsy for over eight years. And this YouTube channel is just where we talk about being an Etsy seller, strategies that I've tried and learned in the past and all of that sort of stuff. So basically just everything, small business ownership and Etsy. So if you are interested in that, you are in the right place. Today specifically, we are going to be breaking down how my shop brought in over $200,000 of revenue from one single product. Okay, so I know that these videos probably sound crazy. If you were in the beginning, they probably sound impossible. They probably sound like an insane stroke of luck. Um, so I just wanted to break down kind of how that happened, what the product is, and why I believe that having products like these are important for an Etsy shop. So first things first is that this is, this product that I'm talking about is our monogrammed Sherpa. We have sold this product for probably four or five years now, and it has consistently been one of our best sellers in our shop throughout those four or five years. Um, it is not something that just got really, really trendy and then fell off. It has been a consistent product that's been really, really good for us for over, for like the, for the whole time we've had it listed, which I think was like, five years ago, 2018, I'm not super positive, four or five years. Um, and it has been a good product for us throughout that whole time. I'm gonna put up screenshots and as you can see, we have one listing that just absolutely took off and brought in almost $195,000 of revenue and then a few other copies that have also brought in quite a bit of revenue as well as in like in the thousands, bringing us to over $200,000 of revenue just from this one product. Um, we're gonna be breaking down how to do this, but I do think Think that having products like this one, obviously I know this sounds stupid because you're like, no, duh, it's important. I do think that sometimes, so I guess I'm gonna break down why, if you're watching this as a beginner or as someone who maybe doesn't have that, um, why this is important, why it's common and why it might happen to your shop. So basically the reason why I think it's important is obviously because it's good to have consistent best seller sellers for your revenue's sake. However, and you already knew that you're like, yeah, I know it's important. How do you do it? But I do think that sometimes people think and expect all of their listings to bring in an equal amount of revenue. And if you look at any Etsy seller that has been doing it for a long time, they will tell you that probably a good 80% of their revenue comes from five listings or less. And I was on a podcast recently and he mentioned that he hears that from top sellers all the time. And I have to say that that is definitely true for my shop as well. Definitely the large bulk of our income comes from a small handful of listings. And so I guess I just say that to be encouraging that like, no, it is not like all of our listings are that way. Some of them absolutely and totally flop. Um, and that is completely normal. And if you are watching a YouTube and they tell you that all of your listings are super successful, most likely they are just lying <laughs> um, because that's just not, not always true. And having talked to other Etsy sellers who are a little more seasoned, they've all said the same thing. So just that being said, just know that like not all of our listings are like this and you might be able to list something like this and be able to bring a substantial amount of revenue in for your shop. If you are curious about what those listings are, I did make a video about my current bestsellers. They've been bestsellers for a while, so it is still like accurate and I can link that here in the cards with my, that includes my bestsellers that I pretty much, the, I think I talk about six listings that bring in quite a bit of revenue for us at my shop. Okay, so now that we've kind of unpacked that, let's talk about how listings like this happen. How do you get a listing that is bringing in several thousands of dollars of revenue for you each year and then obviously overall a lot and lot a lot of revenue for your shop. So first things first is that I get comments on my YouTube channel that are like, you're just lucky, blah, 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 all the time. I will not de deny that there is a luck aspect um, I do not think luck plays into it 100% at all. I do think that you can predict what is going to take off. I do think that like you can set yourself up for success, but of course there is like anything, a luck 
aspect, I always refer to when it comes to luck, I always refer to the Pablo Picasso quote that just says, he always says inspiration exists, but it has to find you working. I think that luck exists, but it has to find you working. So definitely there are times whenever stuff takes off and there is a luck aspect involved, but you, it has to find you working. It has to find you listing products, trying new things, all those sorts of things. So don't think that you're just going to list one thing and hopefully get lucky and then say, well, that person person just got lucky. Um, it didn't work for me. Luck does exist, but it does have to find you in a state of working, trying all those sorts of things. So I just want to cover that. And I will not deny that there is some level of luck. However, that is obviously not a helpful tip. That is not helpful advice if you are trying to do this in your own shop. So I think that the biggest thing, and obviously this is of course dependent on your marketing strategy. We talk about Etsy SEO on this channel. If you are someone who has, you know, 50 million Instagram followers, of course it, your listing breaking through the Etsy algorithm is not for you. You probably should sell it on Shopify. But if we are talking about something that takes off in Etsy specifically, it needs to break through the Etsy algorithm, break through the competition and gain more and more traction. And as it gets more popular, it stays popular. And that is how you get these listings that are selling year over year, lots of revenue. So of course you already knew that it breaking through the algorithm was the key, but let's talk about that strategy because I do believe that targeting something for breaking through an algorithm and kind of really ranking high on Etsy SEO is, I think that this strategy is twofold. So the first one is, you definitely need to have a product that people are searching for. So that means like a trending item. I have mentioned this over and over again, but especially if you want your listing to catch traction quick, it needs to be something that is trending on Etsy. I've mentioned it several times on this channel recently. We have found that to be true 100% for like nursing products, um, like products that are sold for nurses. Right now, those are really catching traction really fast in the Etsy algorithm. Um, so that's the first piece is having a product that people are searching for. And then the second piece is doubling down on that product with using listing best practices. So we are going to break down both of those, but just know that this strategy is twofold. One is having the correct, the right product. And the other is really doubling down on on that product and optimizing it to no end with your Etsy listings. So let's talk about having a trending product first. There's a few ways to do this. I've made a whole YouTube video about how to find trending products on Etsy, which I can link for you guys. But basically, let's cover the let's cover the basics of finding trending products to list in your shop. Again, also, I want to note something and that is that most of the time these products, these trending things can be applied to in any niche because they are products like trends that are happening at large. So if it's just nursing is trending, you can do that if you are someone who sells with a silhouette, someone who embroiders, someone who does metal stamping, you can make products for nurses. You just might have to think outside the box and think about things that you um, might not necessarily list now, but can be catered toward that certain trend. Okay, so to find what products are actually trending, take like find what products to actually list. How did you find the nursing niche? That sort of thing. What is taking off? For one, use common sense and just look at things around you. When you go to Target, what is trending? What is trending in your niche? Like home decor, clothing. What can you make that is already playing off of what is trending just in society at large, not necessarily on Etsy? It is really, really important to remember that even if you don't like it, that doesn't mean it's not trending. Of course, I am not a nurse. I would never buy one of those products. I, they don't fit me. However, they are good for trending products. So just paying attention to what is trending at stores that you see, what are you seeing out in the world that is a trending item? Pay attention to that. The next thing that you are going to want to look at, and you are definitely going to want to find your competitors and your niche. So big shops that are selling what you sell or doing what you do. Um, doing what you do is also key because it might unlock a whole new product line for you. So basically for me and my shop or what my shop used to be, I would be looking at other people who embroider, not just other monogram shops because I might unlock a whole new 
type of minimal embroidery or just different, different items if I'm looking at embroidery at large rather than just monogram shops. But go ahead and find your competitors and see what they are selling. When you go and stalk their page, what do they have listed first? And their most recent, what's selling, what are they selling the most of? What keywords are they using? What duplicate listings do they have? Study them, see what is working for them because that might be a good indicator of what is trending on the platform at large. The last way to find trending products on Etsy is to use a product research tool. I have mentioned on this channel before that I use Everbee. Everbee is just the product research tool that I chose. There are of course competitors, but I really love the way the plugin works for Everbee, the way the data is presented to me. The back end of the way Everbee works really makes sense with my brain. And so I really enjoy using Everbee. I do encourage you to check that out. You can get 10 free searches a month if you sign up at the link in my description. And basically it is a really, really good way to research products, see monthly search volume, all of that kind of stuff. You can find that all out by using Everbee. Um, do know that you can absolutely research products and find trending products without it. Everbee is a relatively new thing for me and my shop. A product research tool at all is relatively new. So you absolutely can find trending products without it. However, if you want to kind of like take the fast track, Everbee would be the way to do that or a product research tool would be the way to do that um, because very, very good at giving you straightforward like information to search off of. So that covers the trending items project. The, the first step of the twofold strategy, which is having a product that people are searching for, that kind of covers how to do that. I now want to break down some listing best practices. So we talk about this on, on this channel all the time. Now that you have a product that people are searching for, it is important to optimize your listing as much as possible so that you can make your listing as SEO friendly as possible so Etsy likes it and promotes it. So how do you do this? For one, I always say that the best way to do this is to just use every feature available to you on the platform. So that means as much as you can filling out the listing whenever you go to make that listing. So whenever you're making the listing, obviously you are going to want to try and use all the photos. If you can't, not a huge deal. That's not like an SEO make or break, but you're going to want to try to add 10 photos and then you're going to want to try to add a video. You are going to want to use as many title characters as possible with relevant keywords. So think how a buyer would search for your item, how all of those keywords that you are seeing in Everbee, use those in your title. Title. You are then going to want to fill out the listing attributes, which is all of those questions. So like, for example, if I was listing this sweater, I would say it's a crew neck. I would say it's long sleeve. I would say it's primary color is blue. You are going to want to fill out those attributes as best as you can. And then moving down in the description, giving as much, um, like, details as you can in the description and also working in some keywords naturally. Do not just copy and paste the um, title. You are going to want to say something like this cozy crew neck blue sweatshirt, which adds in keywords, however, or sweater, I guess, adds in keywords, but doesn't make it sound like you're just keyword stacking the description. So you're going to want to do that. And then also you are going to want to make sure that your listing is shipping quickly and hopefully free. Etsy has come out and just basically said that that impacts your rank in search. So when you are doing the shipping, you're going to want to make sure that it is as low cost as possible and also as fast as you can to help optimize it for SEO. And I think that covers all the things that you can do when you are listing your product that make it more optimized to sell faster. I think that's the covers like most of it. You can do things after you have it listed to keep it selling over and over. So some of the things that you can do after you have already listed this item to keep it selling over and over and over again, not just having a optimized listing when you create it, but things that you can do while you're running your shop to make it a product that keeps selling over and over. For one, ship the item quickly. You do not want your item to be late. You do not want to have a reputation in the Etsy SEO algorithm that says, okay, this shop normally isn't shipping their items on time. 
as fast as possible. Make sure you are shipping the item quickly. That also leads to my next point, which is to kind of set yourself up for getting good reviews. So shipping an item quickly, definitely set yourself up for good reviews and then good customer service. This is really, really important for my niche specifically because it is so personalized. And so going the extra step, say you have a niche where you're like, you know what? I actually think like, like mine, we'll just use mine for example. Like I actually think that that thread color won't show up on the sweatshirt color you picked. Send them a convo, let them know. Or if, I don't know, like if they ask questions, just answer them quickly. Having good customer service goes a long way. It is a consistent thing that we see in our reviews is that like customer service was so good, definitely gonna shop from this shop again, which they like went out of their way to leave a positive review because we shipped it fast and had good customer service. And so those two things, one, look really good on the Etsy algorithm, but two, lead to a higher chance of you getting a positive review, which is absolutely important for your, um, SEO, like good reviews play a massive role in a listings SEO. And then the last thing you're going to want to do is optimize your shop as a whole, which means just filling out all of the things. I talk about this in the, I have a video that's titled like improve your SEO in less than an hour. Um, go in and watch that video and that teaches you how to optimize your whole shop rather than just a specific listing. And so you can do that and whenever you do that, it also helps all of your listings as well. Okay, so that is how you too can have a listing that is selling several thousands of dollars of revenue each year. Honestly, if you were to break it all up, several thousands of dollars of revenue each month. Um, popular listings, you need to know, while I do fully admit that luck can play an aspect, they are not an accident. You too can do this in your shop. Do not think that just because people have been on Etsy for a longer time than you, or they can take better photos than you, you can learn how to do all of that. Most Etsy sellers are just like you. They learned how to take good photos. They learned all of this stuff. This is not a skill that anyone came out of the womb knowing how to do. And so you too can accomplish this on Etsy and you can definitely accomplish a six figure, I guess, listing or shop on Etsy as well. I just don't ever want you to hear that and be like, that's great for you, but it'll never work for me because it absolutely can. And so I just want to end this video with the encouragement that this is not an accident and you actually can achieve this in your shop as well. If you want to learn how to optimize your listings more, make sure to check out my free Etsy masterclass. It's an hour long where I basically dive into, like deep dive into optimization and making your shop set up for success. And we talk about the possibilities that you can have whenever your Etsy shop is, um, just like creating a lot of revenue. So make sure to check that out at the link in the description. I make two new YouTube videos every week talking all about Etsy and my shop journey. So if you are interested, make sure to subscribe and thank you so much for watching and joining me in this journey.